Hello to anyone considering signing up for Dr. Njiaju's coaching on publishing their own autobiography or memoir. My name is Chantal Ashley. I'm a coach who works with teachers and school leaders and who does mindset coaching in other spaces. And I have the singular pleasure of having been a peer of Dr. Njiaju's back in elementary school in Zimbabwe many years ago. I was really excited to see the work that she was doing in the space of self-publishing because I've always been a lover of books and of writing. And it's an idea that I've toyed with. Should I write a book? Do I have anything to say? If you're sitting on the fence and you're trying to decide whether this is the thing for you, I really recommend that you sign up for either one of her free talks just explaining the process or commit to diving full into getting coaching and getting supported in putting your book out. Because just that introductory talk that I had the pleasure to engage with absolutely blew my mind. I've always known about the value of writing an autobiography or a biography for the purposes of record keeping so that you could pass information on to younger members of your family who may not have met the people featured in the book. But just the simplified steps that Doc broke down in terms of what the value of writing this book actually is really spoke to my heart as a coach. It speaks to me about the power of awareness, the value of unpacking your story so that you can identify your patterns and all of the processes that went into making you who you are, the value of recalling your key moments, the moments throughout your life that really contributed to you standing where you are in this moment and recognizing what brought you here, the power of being able to interpret that so that you can leverage your story for future exploits or in crafting your future goals. Those were things that really hadn't occurred to me until I engaged with that talk this weekend. In addition, the most valuable piece that a book could be the celebration of your life. How often do we find ourselves exhorted to celebrate our successes and make sure that we're recognizing our achievements and how often does the busyness of life and the business of crafting a career make it really difficult to remember to do that? That was the thing that resonated most deeply with me, that writing my autobiography or my memoir could be a celebration of my life. It could be that seminal moment where I really kind of take stock of all that I've accomplished, all that I've overcome, and give myself a gift that will continue to give and contribute to future generations, to my kids who know me now in the form I currently am in, but who may not understand a few years from now how I came to be who I am, and help them understand their stories in doing so. I am completely sold. I will definitely be writing, not my autobiography, but my memoir, because part of her talk really unpacked the difference between an autobiography and a memoir, and helped me understand the value of really framing a particular element of my story in the form of a memoir, so that I can unpack that and really see what are all of the connecting branches and how does that lens contribute to me being me, and what stories did it result in in my life, and how will those stories go on to impact others? Dr. Njiaju speaks about all of these things in the simplest, most accessible terms. If you're feeling intimidated by the idea, I can tell you firsthand that it's not something you need to worry about. You'll be able to understand all of the concepts that she puts forth and really embrace her encouragement to leverage the power of incremental change, one bite at a time. I'm looking forward to getting started and I'm extremely grateful that I now have someone who can be a mentor and a sounding board on the journey and who's walked the path before me and so can really shine the torch. I encourage you to do the same. Everyone has a story in them that's worth telling. Here's to you telling yours.